Hey everyone, I'm Wes O'Donnell, veteran of the U.S. Army and the U.S. Air Force, and proud graduate of American Military University. Welcome to this week's roundup of the top military news stories. Let's get into the headlines, but first, roll the intro. We kick things off with concerning news from the U.S. Navy. This week, Navy officials identified three vessels affected by faulty weld work conducted at the Newport News shipyard in Virginia. The ships include the aircraft carrier USS George Washington and the submarines USS Hyman G. Rickover and the USS New Jersey. Fortunately, the substandard welds were not on components that directly affect ship safety or operations. However, an investigation is ongoing to determine how widespread this issue may be, with 23 additional ships under review. Congress has demanded answers, and the Department of Justice is investigating possible breaches of contract. Next up, the U.S. Air Force is working to avoid the high costs associated with the F-35 program for its next generation fighter jet. The F-35, which has become the most expensive weapon system in history, has long been criticized for its 80 to 100 million dollar per unit price tag. The Air Force is now in the early stages of developing a sixth generation fighter, known as the Next Generation Air Dominance, or NGAD, and hopes to bring down the cost significantly. While it's too early to predict exact figures, the goal is to strike a balance between technological superiority and affordability. In the Middle East, U.S. forces launched a series of strikes on Iranian-backed Houthi rebels in Yemen. The attacks, which targeted key Houthi military infrastructure, come as tensions in the region escalate. U.S. officials confirmed that the strikes focused on weapon systems, bases, and logistical equipment. This move is seen as part of a broader effort to curb Iranian influence in the region, particularly as Iran continues to support proxy forces throughout the Middle East. The situation remains fluid with the potential for further U.S. involvement. On the home front, the nonprofit organization We the Veterans has achieved a major milestone with its Vet the Vote initiative. The program has successfully recruited nearly 160,000 veterans and military family members to serve as poll workers for the upcoming November elections. The campaign aims to address the shortage of poll workers and ensure smooth election operations. This initiative highlights the continued civic engagement of veterans who bring their commitment to service from the battlefield to the ballot box. Finally, escalating tensions in the Middle East continue to dominate headlines as Israel steps up its airstrikes on Gaza and southern Lebanon. The strikes targeting Hezbollah positions and Palestinian militants come as the one-year anniversary of Hamas's October 7th attacks just passed us by. Israeli officials have vowed to intensify their military efforts, focusing on eliminating threats from both Gaza and Lebanon, where Hezbollah continues to operate. The conflict has already displaced thousands and shows no signs of de-escalating. That's all for this week's top military stories. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any updates for these bite-sized, quick news stories that you need to know leading into next week. I'm Wes O'Donnell. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Stay safe.